Hi, this is Mike. I'm an adventurer and a dad, and today I'm on a mission to make rooftop tents a little better. If you've been paying attention for a while, you may have known that I was kind of a rooftop tent skeptic in the beginning and uh, thought they were kind of silly and kind of pointless. But uh, I've come around. I, I do believe that rooftop tents are a good tool to have in the camping overlanding bag, uh, particularly when it's either on a trailer like we have or on a vehicle that's not your daily driver like this Forerunner here. I don't drive this all the time. I drive the Tacoma most of the time. And so the rooftop tent lives on this. And when we need it, we need it. And when we don't, it's just sitting in the driveway doing nothing. Um, but there are some problems with rooftop tents beyond that. And they are pretty simple. First and foremost, they're not comfortable. They've got a hard foam mattress and that hard foam mattress is hard to sleep on. Now I have two tents. I have this one here is a Smitty built. I have one on the trailer, which is a Tapui and the Tapui cost double what this cost. Granted, it's a little bigger, but double the price. And the mattress is the same, same mattress, same basic construction, but the mattress is not great. So we'll address that. Um, the other issue is that, uh, there's a lot of stuffing involved. You know, you fold that thing over, and all the flaps and everything on the outside is all bundled up and sticking out and you've got to do a bunch of stuffing and cramming and moving around to get it up in there and it's not fun because you got to climb up and then you climb up on one side and it all falls out of the other side so it's like it's a shell game uh, so we're gonna address that third is the fact that these things are great if you leave your bedding in them but sometimes if you leave the bedding in them it takes up too much space and it's hard to get it closed enough to um, actually get the top on and close it up. And with this one, it's not so bad because the, the lid, the, the cover is really baggy. Not too baggy, but it's baggy enough that it, it doesn't have to be super tight. The Tapui, on the other hand, is a perfect fit cover. And that one has to be crammed super tight. And that can be a big problem if you have bedding, if you have pillows, and especially if you have um, the solution that I've come up with for the mattress pad. So that's how many problems is that? That's the mattress, that's the stuffing, and the cramming it down. I'll, I'll give you a bonus one too. There's a bonus one that I'll show you at the end. So let me go over there and I'll show you the ways that I address these problems. All right, let's go on up inside and I'll show you the solution to the first problem. So first problem is that you've got basically a really crappy mattress in here it's it starts it's full length it starts here and it's you know two inches thick but it's just dense foam and it's not comfortable so what i did was i went to um target and i bought this memory foam topper it squishes down to nothing and then i bought a sheet to go on top of it and just that little bit amount a memory foam is enough to make this quite comfortable. Certainly not as comfortable as our Casper mattress at home, but uh, very tolerable and certainly good enough for camping. So that's hack number one, get a memory foam topper. And you can get, if you get a super thin one, like this one from Target, and I'll put one, a link to one on Amazon, then you won't have so many issues with stuffing it down when you go to put it away. Memory foam topper. So the other main issue is when you fold this tent over, all of this material flops out and you have to stuff it back in. It's a total pain. So um, what I figured out to do, there are two things actually, all these toggles all around. If you batten down all these pieces of the rain fly, the problem's a lot less, but it's still bad. So what I've done is I've installed this bungee cord and this bungee cord pulls everything in and keeps everything tight as you flip it over and there's almost no stuffing involved. You just roll up a little bit, cram it under the cover and you're done. Now, the way this works is here in the main pivot bolt here, I've taken the cap off and installed this rock climbing anchor bolt. 
and on one side you tie it and it goes around. On the other side you clip it with a carabiner. Now it's necessary to clip it with a carabiner in case you want to use one of the floors or one of the rooms that zips on here, you have to take this off. So clip one side with a carabiner, just tie one the other side on. Here's how you do it. easily just be rolled up just like that and it'll fit under the tent very easily under the cover it'll fit under the cover real easily no stuffing at all now the last hack is this these things come with a pretty janky velcro strap that goes down and velcros and then goes back up and velcros and it's really hard to get this tight enough if you have any amount of bedding that you've left in here so what you do is you take this apart and you drill a couple holes here and you get a footman loop. This is called a footman loop. And then you buckle this through the D-rings at the top. This is a cam strap. You just need about, well, you need about a one foot cam strap, but nobody makes a one foot cam strap. So you just have to cut one down. And you thread it through here and then you thread it through here. And that lets you pull down on the top and get good compression on the tent. And you just take the rest of it, throw it up there, and you're good to go. All right, so your bonus hack is that it's really nice to have a place to put your, the wires that hold the, the rain flies up. And I just toss it up there. Once the, uh, once the, rain, once the cover's on, it's not going to go anywhere. It's also really nice to have a doormat to put under the ladder. And that I also just toss right up there. It's not gonna go anywhere. This particular tent comes with a little bag that holds your shoes and I just leave that attached and it also just stays right up here on top and lives there. And there's plenty of room. And as long as you don't let it fall on your head when you're uh, taking it apart, it's totally perfect. So those are my absolutely necessary rooftop tent hacks performed on this Smitty-built Overlander Gen 2 rooftop tent. Um, if you have any other tips or tricks with rooftop tents, let me know. And let me know what you think of these, if you think they're, you know, useful, if you're going to try something like that, if you have a better idea to solve the problems that I've addressed in this video. If you uh, like this video, definitely hit that like button. And if you're the kind of person that likes to subscribe to YouTube channels, hit me up with a subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Happy trails.